point, of course, Greece, Greece is up again in the headlines and we're seeing that uh, the Greek leaders are, are talking about a potential referendum if they don't uh, maybe secure the kind of deal with the Eurogroup finance ministers that they're looking for. Uh, I think you have something to say about what, what Greece itself needs to do now. Yes, uh, ever since they're elected and even before they have been elected, they've been talking tough, saying what they're going to do. But I think there's a big difference between opposition being government. There's a big difference in making demands and actually getting them through negotiation, as we did in Ireland. And Greece are now learning, I think, that they have to uh, negotiate rather than just dictate. But uh, I think most people will stand back and say, what are they doing about the situation in their own country? Corruption is rife. They need to deal with that. Uh, also, tax evasion is immense. They need to deal with that. And they have uh, very generous pensions, etc., for the public service. And they're even talking about taking on more people in the public service. This is adding to their own debt. And that certainly doesn't make sense. And I think if Greece are serious about looking for more support and sympathy in Europe, they have to show, uh, first of all, their determination to tackle uh, the various uh, obstacles in their own economy. And I think if they do that, then they will find a supportive uh, advice in Europe because that's really what being part of the European community is about. It's not about one country against another country. It's about standing up for yourself, certainly, but also uh, negotiating and eventually uh, fulfilling your obligations. And I think uh, the President, Mr Draghi, made that very clear in Parliament uh, in Brussels two weeks ago when he told uh, the Greeks, he uh, stick with the programme and we'll stick with you. Okay, great stuff.